it's Sunday, November 3rd, and Jake and I are tucked back into the same tree we hunted last night. We have a 7 to 10 mile an hour southwest wind, and it's about 35 degrees. We've already had three or four does work through right below us here in the willows. I'm hoping to catch up with Marino out here. We saw a number of bucks uh, right before dark last night. And the last one, I couldn't quite figure out which deer it was, so we went back and looked at it on the computer. And it's uh, the new buck that showed up just a week or so ago that Jared's encountered a couple times. He's got the big kickers at his bases, so. We're leaning towards four on him, so I don't think we're gonna be shooting him. pretty slow morning. We ended up having those four or five does work through right at first light and then we saw uh, that same four-year-old that Jared's filmed a few times, the one that snort wheezed under him the other day. He came cruising by and that was last year we saw so we haven't seen anything since sunrise. We're gonna get packed up and come up with a game plan for this afternoon. Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Realtree. Well, it's the afternoon of Sunday, November 3rd, and Jake and I have switched locations. It's warmed up considerably. This is the warmest day of the week. It's about 51 degrees, and we have a south-southwest wind. We actually moved into the urban zone to try to give Jared Nye's farm a break, and I've got work pretty early tomorrow, so I thought I'd get closer to the house to get home earlier tonight. We've already seen uh, probably six or seven deer. It's been a little slow getting in here because from the get-go, we've been seeing does walking and little bucks cruising and that sort of stuff. We've had some toms, tom turkeys work out and we can see a chase up in the draw right, right here and there's a little buck out in the field there. So good activity so far. We've got about two and a half hours left. I thought I heard some uh, antlers hitting together. I am working all day tomorrow, but we'll be back out on Tuesday. And uh, we'll definitely be spending some time going after Marino. Sherman seems to have disappeared off the cameras. I haven't had him on camera for the last 11 or 12 days. So I'm gonna focus on Marino until Sherman maybe shows back up and I'll continue to bounce between those two deer. I'll also be spending some time um, in the urban zone. I don't normally hunt the urban zone in November, but I don't wanna burn out our farm after Marino, so I'll probably make a few flints in the urban zone here and there as well. 
Hopefully we can catch up with a mature buck here over the next couple weeks.